Hello, I'm Debbie Ludford and I'm part of the Maidenhead Great Park campaign group. I think everyone here understands the threat to our world and our community that climate change is bringing. We are going to experience more droughts, more floods, more storms, heat domes, wildfires, and our biodiversity is going to be put under more and more stress. The science is clear, and what we need to do to reduce warming and mitigate against the effects of climate change is also clear. The successful towns and cities of the future will maximise their benefits of green space for nature, trees, shade, water storage, absorbing carbon, generating oxygen, cleaning our air and providing immunity for mental and physical health. Our council declared an environment emergency in 2019 and then published an environmental climate strategy. In it, they acknowledge the importance of the natural environment for protecting the ecosystem benefits we receive, including clean air and water. They acknowledge that protecting and enhancing our environment will also create great places to live and support residents' health and wellbeing. So why on earth do they want to destroy our beautiful green space at the golf course? They don't seem to be able to make the connection between a written strategy on a piece of paper and the real world application of that strategy. So to help them out, I'll just outline a few key points about the opportunity the golf course presents for our community, both today and in the future, if it stays green. Number one, it's our green lung, so it's working hard to absorb carbon and find particulate matter from the roads and airports. Number two, with thousands of mature trees, it's also providing habitat for many types of animals, birds, insects and bees, many of which are protected species. For example, owls, bats, kestrels, hedgehogs and slow worms. Number three, the trees also provide shade and oxygen. Number four, the golf course soaks up rainwater and helps protect our community from flooding. Number five, right now there's immunity for golf club members and many local people who enjoy walking across the footpath and connecting to other green spaces. If it stays green, over time we can make even better use of the space. We can plant more trees and wildflowers, we can create ponds for wildlife and water storage. We can work with the golf club to share the space and maybe one day it will be, it will be a park for everyone with well-being and education activities there, community centre, community garden, walking trails, etc. I don't know exactly what our community will choose for this space in the long term, but what I do know is that this space will become more and more important for all of us if it stays green. If it's developed, it will have the opposite effect. We'll have more air pollution, less wildlife, more flooding, and no chance of ever getting this precious natural resource back. I really believe but if we stand together, we can get this insane plan to ruin our environment here in Maidenhead stopped. Please make sure your local and national politicians understand that this is unacceptable. Write to Theresa May, write to our councillors, especially those who voted against our petition back in March when we asked our council to protect this space. And when it comes to voting in the next local and national elections, make sure you vote for the people who understand that protecting the remaining green spaces in our town is vital for the well-being of our community. Thank you very much, Debbie. Um, Michelle is going to talk to us.